to clean this camera a little bit, guys. <clears throat> this is going to get uploaded to YouTube, and then you guys on Twitter can see it. I'll share it with Twitter afterwards. Yeah, this is Brother George. Again, like I said, the signs of the times are what we're seeing here. Prophecies being fulfilled. Falls of nations. Rising of the enemy. Yeah, I'm going to keep it real with you. This is all prophecy being fulfilled, guys. There's nothing new under the sun. What we can do as Christians is pray and pray harder. But just like Ecclesiastes 3 said, there is a time for war. And yes, we must go to war. If we are going to save our sovereignty as one nation under God, it's acceptable. For everything there is a season, he says in his holy word. But should you go with hate towards people? No. Should you go trying to wipe somebody out just because you can? No. But if you're called to duty, answer that call. But let everyone be reconciled in Christ. I, I can't stress it enough that we are getting weaker as Christians because we don't put God first. We don't make God our first love. <clears throat> Ask anyone, if God is not your first love, nothing will succeed in your life. Everything will blow up in your face. Everything, not one thing, but everything. Putting God first means to put everything else aside for him first. Worshiping him, praising him, praying to him, doing God's work comes first. I'm not saying take every minute of your day and do God's work. I'm saying God's work will take a part of your day. And you should do it first. But make no mistake, brothers and sisters, the wars are coming, and we must defend our faith, our family, our homes. Stand on the one true word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you. We give you the glory today, O Lord. Lord, we thank you for waking us up today, Lord, and allowing us to see your beauty and your masterpieces in this world, Lord. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us, O oh God. As we lift up our brothers and sisters who are battling migraine, strokes, heart attacks, seizures, cancers, all kinds of and all kinds of pestilences and illnesses, Lord. Lord, financial strife, societal issues that they're facing, Lord, emotional issues, being oppressed by these demons, Lord. Remove these demons from these folk, these folks' lives, Lord your children's lives. Lord, watch over your children. Guide their steps. Be the lamp to their feet. Be their shield in times of trouble. Lord, we thank you and we praise you as we ask that you bless our enemies too, Lord. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We love you guys. God bless you, and keep fighting the good fight.